Over the past two decades, a business and human rights movement has been growing. The architect of this movement was John Ruggie, who was central to the establishment of the United Nations Global Compact in the year 2000. The Global Compact is now the world's largest corporate sustainability initiative. It is not only the largest corporate citizenship initiative in the world, I think even more importantly, it's by far the most geographically inclusive. And that's what makes the difference. It has a global presence and it has national networks. And it's become a movement. John Ruggie served as UN Secretary General Kofi Annan's Special Representative for Business and Human Rights. Um, in 2005, when I was appointed, um, the uh, business community uh, found the whole subject of human rights a bit mysterious and even scary. Uh, it seemed to be a world without boundaries and uh, increasingly held them responsible for things that they didn't think they had responsibility for or didn't know how to manage. No company that I know of has ever said, we don't respect human rights. My question was, how do you know? How do you know that you respect human rights? And can you show that you do? Do you have systems in place that would allow you to, to uh, back that claim? Uh, and the answer was, well, no, not really. His signature contribution was authoring the UN Guiding Principles on Business and Human Rights, which were unanimously endorsed by the Human Rights Council in 2011. The UNGPs, as they are universally known, are the first authoritative guidance issued by the United Nations Human Rights Council for business and human rights, their respective obligations to their communities, to their workers, and to consumers and others. This was the first time that the UN human rights machinery had adopted or endorsed a normative text that governments had not negotiated by themselves. This required that we provide businesses with the conceptual tools and practical guidance, enabling them to know and show that they respect human rights. And so we developed something that we called human rights due diligence, whereby companies can assess the, the impact that they have in their supply chains with regard to workers and modify their behavior accordingly. Ten years after the launch of the Guiding Principles, the movement that John helped spark continues to gain momentum. What has happened in the last five years or so, many governments have turned to this idea of human rights due diligence and turned it into national law, or in the case of the European Union, into regional law. These developments by no means fix the global challenges of business and human rights but they do provide a strong foundation for the UN Working Group and other entities to continue to build upon the UNGPs and to help build back a better world. Thank you. The UN Global Compact is immensely grateful for John's tireless efforts to drive business respect for human rights and help create a world where no one is left behind.